This is uh, Eric P. Martin, and this is the um, second portion of the process of writing a treatment for a 30-second commercial. Um, if you watch the first uh, segment, I basically uh, went over the overview. Uh, my process of doing this, again, if, if you haven't watched this, uh, the, the, pre the previous video, uh, this I'm a college student at uh, Columbia College in Chicago, and I'm taking a course in uh, producing a 30, uh, producing the commercial. And basically, uh, I'm dissatisfied with the course because it doesn't really uh, give you any structure of how to, to produce a commercial. So I thought I would go ahead and and uh, since I've been kind of thrown out in the ocean. Uh, to give an analogy that sink or swim, I thought I might uh, record the process of trying to create this project that I'm doing. So basically the next portion, uh, looking at well, my process, I, I basically, uh, what I did was look at about five or six different treatments. And um, the next portion after an overview, um, it, they call it many different things. And again, there is no template for creating a uh, treatment, a director's treatment for a 30 second commercial. So, uh, but the, what they, the sections are pretty much the similar. They've called it many different things and these are some of the names that they give it. Uh, visual design, art direction and cinematography, visual style, film language, uh, look and feel, optical illusion, which I believe is a subcategory, light and lens, and visual hook. So basically, this section is going to, is, is describing the look and feel uh, in, in, in words uh, from a director, um, how the commercial is going to look. Uh, again, there's many different categories, but basically, this this section, this next section after overview, the director's uh, basic concept uh, or story for the commercial, he goes he or she goes into um, what the commercial is going to look like visually uh, on screen, and so again, I'm going to uh, create some links on my website. Uh, ericpmartin.com so you can go and take a look at some of these um, links or uh, ex treatments as an example of uh, what they look like so um, and then I'm the other the next step of course for me as a student is I have no idea uh, basically how to describe this so the only way I see myself doing this is going ahead and kind of setting up the shots with my DSL camera and and going through the motions to to see because I have no idea lighting lenses and all that but the project of course that doesn't make any sense to me and you know for me paying $2,500 for a class that's just ridiculous but I guess it's the learning process. So anyway, if you want to go to the website, I'll have the links on there. And um, so the next process, I guess, would show you what I have um, created, because this project is actually due tomorrow, uh, show you what I have on, on paper. And I guess I will put that on my website as well. So um, maybe I might, you know, put what how I described the this section by you know going through the process as I said previously of just setting up the camera and um, you know coming up with something so that's it uh, thanks for watching